Good morning. Good morning. Good I know. Morning. I, I almost know. said good ah, afternoon. Good afternoon. I know. Welcome to the Muscle of Yarn podcast. Mm-hmm. It's Valentine's Day. It is. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> I can't do it. I know. My heart is kind of sad. Oh. Sad heart. <laughs> My fingers don't work that way. Anyway. I know. <laughs> I can't. That's a little better. Thing. We're recording in the morning. <laughs> Because I'm unavailable this afternoon. Yep. So uh, we didn't want to not have an episode out this week. Right. Uh, So we are coming to you from our yarn store in Shelburne, Vermont, where we sell all things uh, fiber and knitting and crocheting and woolly, uh, both in-store and online at Mm -hmm. muscleofyarn.com. Yep. And you can find the store out on all kinds of social media as Muscle of Yarn. Mm-hmm. Oh, see, we forgot to bring Gage, too. Uh, We're just totally out of sorts this morning. She's partying in the sun. She is. In the little party bin with the pom-poms again. In the pom-pom bowl. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, and I'm Angela. And I'm Kelly. And you can find me out on social media, Ravelry and Instagram, as Junior Bird Kid. And you can find me on Instagram as Kelly O Spins, and you can find me on Ravelry as Kelly Spins. Nice. Yep. Mm-hmm. So we like to start our podcast with our pick of the week. We do. But we have picks. Pixes. Pixes this week. Uh, so in true form, so last week we announced a new knit along, which probably would have been a good week to have this pick, but yeah, well, whatever. Yeah. It is what it It hasn't, it starts today? Yeah, today. Okay. Today. So, so today so there you go. is the start of the fuzzy along. Fuzzy along. Fuzzy along. So, in oh my tr- gosh, I love the comment about does it count if my for my knit stuff that has like my animal hair knit Pro- into probably. it? Probably that comment was the best because I was like, that's like all of my knitwear has that's all like, of my cat and dog like hair knit one, into it because I have a white cat who's been just feeling necessary to love mm-hmm. anybody who's sitting down at any given time, mm-hmm. and she's one, she's cute. She she's the one that's I posted a picture. In the chatter thread, because we said if you post your own, I know four legged fuzzies, you, Kelly's gonna, gonna draw pick, prizes. I'm gonna draw a prize at least one. So here's a picture of me with her. She jumps. She jumps up on the chair behind me, and she was rubbing on my head and then looking <laughs> over my head. And it's hard to capture rubbing your head on mm-hmm. a picture, um, but anyway, that's my white cat. So make sure you post your little fuzzies, fuzzy helpers too. Yes, there's already a few up there. They're pretty funny. That's awesome. Animals are, are funny, funny. Um, so our pick of the week this week is related to the fuzzy along, mm-hmm. uh, which is the fuzzy along um, is to use, basically make something fuzzy. Right. That's really the rule. There's some really great options out there right um, now, too. There's so many patterns. I put a bundle together on our Ravelry page for a fuzzy along for patterns, mm-hmm. both that call for using mm-hmm. some sort of mohair um, and then other patterns that people have been holding a strand of mohair or mohair-like yarn with the, the regular yarn. Mm-hmm. So uh, there's two or three patterns that have been um, being used for that. Uh, the no frill sweater, that was one I could not remember <laughs> I know. Week. Everybody's like, I know. Are you the, mean the, the no, no frill sweater? Yes. Yep, yes. that's the one. <laughs> that would be the one. Not the simple sweater, but, no, you know. <laughs> no frills. See, you guys know what I'm talking about. I know. About. They do. They do. They do. So we mm. have um, we have two uh, commercially available mohair type yarns in the store. Fuzzy yarns. Fuzzy yarns. Um, so the first one is our Barocco Andean Mist, which is actually not a mohair. It's a uh, alpaca. And it's super soft. That's the one I'm using on my little T-shirt that I'm doing. And it's they classify it more as like a D DK or sport. They do. Yeah. Um, so the strand that runs through it's a little bit thicker, um, the one that binds everything together. Um, I think, is that white one? That white one is, too. Yep, that one is, too. <laughs> so we have a bunch of different colors. You can see that's a really nice navy. Um, that's, like, a charcoal kind of gray color. We've got some more, like, new blue neutrals. This is a really nice kind of silver mm-hmm. gray color. Um, and we also have white. So these retail for $8.99 a skein, um, and they are 164 yards. 
it's uh, 25 grams. Um, so, you know, you could... It's a little bit more forgiving than mohair, too. Yeah. Um, I know people have been... Sometimes mohair, it just likes to stick. hold it on to itself stick and everything. stick. Um, the alpacas, it, it will do sort of the same thing, but it's a little bit... You can tease it apart a little easier. Um, so it's not quite as grabby as... Yeah. <laughs> grabby as the mohair. The mohair. Can be, so... So we have the Andean Mist, and then we also are offering our Sugar Bush Drizzle, mm-hmm. um, which is a truer lace weight type yeah. mohair. Um, I brought over all of our colors. Those dark colors that are there is a navy and a black. Yeah. Um, and so this retails for $9.99. Um, it is, let me give you the yardage on this. It, oh, where'd it go? 219 yards uh, for a 25 gram skein. So you can tell this is a little bit lighter weight than the Andean um, mist just based on the yardage because they're both 25 gram skeins. Yeah. Um, so you could easily make a hat out of, you know, one skein of this or one skein of this with, with another, another yarn. yarn. Mm-hmm. Um, if you were going to hold it for a sweater, you'd need just to check the yardage. Um, there's two or three shawl patterns that I added in. Um, Birds of a Feather comes to mm-hmm. mind that um, call for using both um, mm-hmm. in different sections. There's the um, Elton sweater. So, you know, there's there's lots of options out there. Yeah. Uh, and you can get creative. But we're, you know, we're looking for, for this, um, either something like this that's been incorporated um, or we some sort of some brushed, of brushed yarns, yarns last time. which mm-hmm. are fuzzy. So yeah. the idea is to create something that's <clears throat> fuzzy. Yeah. Um, and I did list down in the show notes section for the knit along some links to the drizzle, to the mist, nice. uh, the brushed yarns that we showed. So the Juniper Moon Stargazer brushed and the Plymouth Yarn Aredo, both of which um, – our yarns that are there. I also link to the Legacy Fiber Arts Cloud, which mm-hmm. is their version of mohair, and the Neighborhood Neighborhood Fiber Company Loft, which is their version of uh, the mohair. Mm-hmm. There's tons of different ones out there. Yeah, um, there are. Those are the ones I could pull. Hedgehog Fibers has one. Yep. I yep. Brought them lots of people in, are. So yeah, lots but... of people are doing them. Um, yeah. I think like. Uh, Yushida has well, I mean there's just there's tons yeah so if you have a favorite dyer go check to see if they have yeah. um, something or even a lot of the more sort of mainstream companies have some sort something. of line mm-hmm. um, and have fun yep make something fuzzy weekly pick fuzzy weekly pick fuzzy Excellent. I think that works perfect works for me and we can spell it we can spell we it. A lot of de- <laughs> debate last week about spelling things. So yes, weekly pick fuzzy. Excellent. Mm-hmm. So fuzz it up. Fuzz it up. Fuzz it up. So, uh, oh, if you need uh, some help with tutorials of where the coupon code goes, mm-hmm. uh, we did that in episode seventy-three. Yep. Uh, oh, if you're trying to find us on iTunes. <laughs> Uh, the system that we use, so iTunes is very persnickety about how you can get videos mm. and any kind of clip videos. They used audios. to be easier. Yes. They changed things. <laughs> They've changed things. So you have to use a service which provides all of the proper RSS feeds to feed over to Apple, uh, the iTunes uh, system to do that. And uh, for whatever reason, the company that we are using to do that, I am having difficulty uploading our videos. Dang. Yeah. So um, I've tried a few times. Sometimes I think, oh, maybe it's just internet connection today or their system's having issues. Mm -hmm. But I've tried a few times and I'm not getting the videos to upload. So we probably have to make a decision. <laughs> we just want to like pull the plug on that, whether we want to try another company. Um, I may need to, I also probably should submit a support ticket saying mm-hmm. I'm having this issue. I haven't had time to do that. Yep. Um, we know the bulk of our views <laughs> comes from YouTube. So yeah. it hasn't been a super high priority. Sorry yeah. if you watch on iTunes. I know. I've been um, sending people but, to YouTube because we had a couple yeah. people who are like, you guys not recording anymore? Uh, we are. Uh, we're just having issues yeah. getting them uploaded over to iTunes. Yep. 
so that's uh, that's what's happening with that. Yep. Um, but we're still here. Yay! Yay! Hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, anyway, so that was probably something better for outtakes, but I remembered it at that point. So yeah, yeah. it is what it is. So what you wearing today, Cal? I am wearing this awesome throwback sweater that one of the most <gasps> wonderful, amazing people in the world knit and gave to me. It fits you so much better than it fits me. I love it. I it, love it. It does fit you very well. I've been wearing it like nonstop since you gave it to me. It's so comfortable. So... I love it. So I, if you missed it last time, Ange gave this to me. Yes. Because uh, I came to the conclusion that I was not going to wear it the way it should be worn because I was finding it to be too tight through the arms and the shoulders uh, for me to feel comfortable in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that will be fixed. I am going to knit another one. Uh, and instead of checking my gauge and being <laughs> responsible, I'm just going to do what I always <laughs> do, which is just knit with whatever needles it calls for in the pattern, which is if I had done that... Uh, it would fit the way I wanted, and Kelly wouldn't have a nice new sweater. So <laughs> I'm going to encourage her to always do gauge. <laughs> Maybe I'll end up with some more sweaters. <laughs> it could be her master plan. <laughs> you never know. Uh, so when I checked my gauge, it told me I needed to go down a couple of needle sizes, which is very weird because yeah. I'm an extraordinarily tight knitter. Uh, so I did because I was trying to be a good good responsible gauge swatcher uh, and look at where it got me it got Kelly a new sweater <laughs> did you plan that <laughs> uh, yeah so I'm gonna I'll knit it again I'll knit the same size I'll just use the needles that it calls for and it should fit because it really it wasn't it was just a little too tight yeah um, yeah because you wore it at Rhinebeck and I did it looked I really did. pretty but just enough that it was just eh. yeah yeah yeah, and I mean, if you're I not didn't wear have it, this then... sort of ease, so you can see it, Kelly's got a little ease in the shoulders. I do, and um, in this section here, and I did not. Yeah. Uh, so it just. So. So anyway, so I would rather have something go to a place or home where I know it's going to get worn than just sit in my drawer because that's mm-hmm. that's no fun. Yeah. So. I love. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Uh, I'm wearing my hydrangea shawl, which I think I've worn. Look how it. nicely that goes. <laughs> <in this sweater. laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Uh, no. <laughs> um, this is a, uh, it was a knit along that actually yep. all of us did. Yep. And she did the big version and I, I did. did the little version, which I have mine and I should. I blocked it recently because it needed to get washed, but I should wear it. It's a nice, like, mid-weight mm-hmm. shawl. It's actually very, very warm mm-hmm. for being as lightweight as it is because it has silk and some other stuff in it, which is yeah. um, super warm. Um, but, yes, this was it. Was it a mystery knit along? It I was a mystery knit along. Yeah. yeah. Yep. It was before it was we like opened the store. like 2015, I think it. No. Yes. Yeah, it was 2015. Yeah, it was Fall right of at 2015, maybe? The beacon. I can't remember. I you think probably it was in the spring. Project page. You're right. I think it was in the spring. Yeah, there was a whole bunch of us that did it. Yep. Um, it was fun. Yeah, it was fun. It was yeah. an interesting beginning because you start with the little, the little edge along the side. You start. I can't. I might yep, be all backwards. One. You start with this piece here, and um, then you go back and pick up stitches. So mm-hmm. you actually knit back and forth. Yep. And then. Um, you go back and pick up stitches and knit the body. Yeah. So, yeah, it was a very interesting construction. Mm-hmm. So that part was fun. It was fun. Yeah. I was like, what? I know. What kind of shawl right? is this yeah, going to be? I mean, this? it's this little narrow strip. I'm like, what? <laughs> I can't be right. Well, because it was a mystery alone. Yeah. You couldn't see the future clues to right. see, oh, right, okay, so we're going to do this. You mm-hmm. just had to go with it. Yeah. Have a little blind faith that mm-hmm. it was all going to work out well. Yep. And it did. It did. It was fun. And it was great. It's fantastic. Yep. Um, so I have no finished objects this week. Me either. Nada. I have an almost finished object with this um, stealth project I'm working on, but oh, I still can't show that. Right. So. Nope. A little can't bit longer, show that for guys. Oh, wow. So 
Yep. A few more weeks, um, and then I can show it. So, it's all right. It's okay. Mm -hmm. um, I've been pretty much almost just working on my descent sweater. I've been pretty much just working on my little twig sweater. I've made some good progress. Nice. I actually have like some knitting I can show you guys. Woo! I know. And so, <clears throat> if you want to talk about yours first, you can. Okay. So, I've been working on uh, Descent, which. I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, no, Sorry. totally fine. Uh, Descent sweater, which is an so Andrea Rankle uh, pattern. It's a colorwork sweater uh, that's steeped. And I've been, you know, back and forth about whether I'm going to do. Uh, button band or zipper. I'm kind of leaning more heavily towards zipper, mm -hmm. but we'll see. Let me change my mind. Subject to change. I have, as you can see, divided for the sleeves, Yay. and I'm working on the body. So I'm in the point where it's just a uh, straight stockinette in the round for like. So 10 you're inches. zooming around. Just zooming around and around and around and around, That's and the sleeve pretty. stitches are off. So it is just a very, and the color work's done. There's no more color work in the sweater. Mm -hmm. Uh, so it's just all straight. Is there anything straight. at the cuffs at all? Those are so. plain too. Okay, they're plain. You could probably add. I mean, you could add like this mm -hmm. in if you wanted, but I'm yeah. okay. So this is um, fiber stash yarn. Uh, the gray is in her great Scott colorway. One of my faves. It, I know it's just a really nice, like neutrally gray, and the green is a colorway of hers called Picky Husband. So this is all uh, worsted. <laughs> I've got yarn. one of those. <laughs> right. It's a fabulous green, a uh, very Julie tone, very right in my color palette. Um, it's really beautiful. Thank you. Christy uh, did a good job. She helped me pick out the yarn I was emailing with her. Nice. Uh, and then it just magically shows up. I mean, I, I pay for it, but it you know, just shows up at the store. <laughs> Poof. Poof. Uh, it's pretty incredible. I know. It's awesome. So. I'm so happy for Christy. She's got her dye studio now that she's putting together now that they've got it's the house and I'm so, it's so exciting awesome. I know yeah it's really exciting can't wait to see what she comes oh, up with her eye for color and just putting colors together putting the go yeah she does a great job yeah mm -hmm. and I love the names of her yarns I know she does do some really great names yep um so and she will be at the uh marketplace marketplace which tickets um, are to, still available there's a few them, of them yeah for the marketplace yeah they sold pretty they well they did sell yeah so um, so yeah, so that's what I've been working on. And now that I've gotten it to just the stocking net, it's, it's almost like a travel project because I don't have to have a mm -hmm. chart that I have to pay attention to. Uh, and it's just around and around and around. Yeah. I did have to swap out my needles. So here's what I found. I was using, um, so these are US sixes. Mm -hmm. I was using the short tips. Mm-hmm. And they were coming unscrewed because really? there was not, I think, enough. As I was knitting, this was pulling too much, and it was. The and you may have been resting your hand, and mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. oh, that's interesting. And okay. so it was driving me crazy. Yep. Hey, look, we're knitting with the same needles. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's so funny. We have the same with these. <laughs> uh, and it was making me crazy, and I f thought that I knew I had other sixes, so I thought yeah. I would try. The longer tips, that seems to have fixed it. If it wouldn't, I would have had to go to a fixed circular. Mm -hmm. But the longer tip seems to have fixed the issue. So I think you're right. It's just like where I rest my hands, I you was may have been twisting. Unscrewing that mm -hmm. if you had your hand like. Mm -hmm. Huh, that's interesting. But it was happening on both sides. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. So. Okay. But it does, I have not had an issue with it since I went up to the longer tips. That's interesting. So if you're having issues using the shorter tips when you have a lot of stitches on the mm -hmm. needles, um, with the, the tips coming unscrewed from the cord, mm -hmm. maybe try a longer tip before switching over completely to fixed. But yeah. if it keeps doing it, the only way to solve it is to go to a fixed circular. Yep. And for some projects, sometimes you just have to do that. Yep. Um, so anyway, so yeah, so that was kind of... That was slowing me down because I literally would have to, I could knit like 10 stitches and I'd have mm. to retighten the needles. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, that's a pain. It's a pain. But I knit all this. I knit a lot of this at the movies yesterday. Sweet. And I can't believe that sometimes when I knit at the movies, I, because it's dark and you're kind of, it's not uncommon for me to have like a 
stitch that I split in half or <laughs> sometimes miss. Yeah. Um, I know. I fared pretty well, actually. So I'm feeling if, a little uh, smug. So I'm wondering what calamity is going to be <laughs> waiting for but me But you're going to look at and be like, oh. oh come on. <laughs> Seriously. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I've been working on little twigs, and I'm using Wing and a Prayer Farm all the single ladies, which is a really nice Shetland single ply wool nice. yarn from Tammy of Wing and a Prayer Farm, her lovely Shetland ladies. Um, and I can show you how far that I've gotten because last time when I stopped, I ran out of yarn on the last podcast, mm-hmm. so I had to add yarn, and I haven't, I haven't. There's a little hole because I haven't woven in my ends yet. So from right. I know I should do a progress keeper instead, but right there, from there to there, that's how much I've done since last time. Woohoo! Woo! I know. Exciting. Look at all that knitting I'm doing. So that's what I've been working on. So I'm, the sleeves are done and um, I'm working on the body. It's bottom up. So I have a little ways to go, but um, it won't be too long. I'll be draining the sleeves on and then the yoke has some fun um, texture detail in it. And then I'll have another sweater to wear. We're kind of, well, except you have your sleeves done already. I was going to say, we're yeah. kind of almost at the same point in our sweaters. We're just going mm-hmm. in opposite directions. Um, to know. where I'm working down and you're working up, but mm-hmm. I haven't knit the sleeves yet. So you do have that leg up on me right now. <laughs> I do. I do. I might have it done before Scotland. That would be awesome. Be sweet. I know. <laughs> Let's see. What else? I haven't knit oh. on anything else. I've been doing the heels, toes, and cuffs on a tube that I cranked, except for <clears throat> I was using little scraps of leftover yarn, and I do have more of this gray yarn, but I I, I played with yarn, yarn chicken, chicken and I lost, so, um, so I have to um, find a little bit more of that yarn at home. And I haven't worked on my fuzzy sweater, um, which is in here, but... I do have something in here that I have to get out. <gasps> Those are my sock tube. <gasps> that is. Oh my god, that is awesome, Kel. I didn't put um, so I just left scrap yarn on. Yeah. And I I usually will kind of run it through, Love but it. <gasps> your little stitch marker. I just hooked on nice. this little thingy. Aren't oh, those fun? That is fun. Yeah, they're super fun. I love how that's striped up. Mm-hmm. So this is Harry Potter yarn. It's got all the house colors. And I measured it. It's exactly nine stitches to the inch. So so it's exactly it what, my, perfectly. what I knit my socks to. I know. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. Aren't they cool? They're I like it. so cool. <laughs> Thank you. You are welcome. <gasps> Yay. Ooh, maybe I'll have a finished object by next week. Woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> other stuff I know I should I'll bring I'll bring that to the retreat and we can do a picking up heels toes Mm -hmm. and cuffs yeah I'll probably bring some um some cranky sheep sock tube kit so if anybody's interested in doing that we could do a small mini class um and uh we'll use that one I have the little I'll don't wind up the little Little mini skein but Mm -hmm. that'd probably be a good extra class Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I had a couple class. people ask me if we could do that yeah. at the retreat. I'm like, sure. Yeah, sure, why not? Awesome. I'm hanging out. Might as well. Might as well. well. Be good. Yep, that'd be fun. Super fun. Yeah. Um, so that's that's it for me for projects I've been working mm. on. I did get yarn wound up for the distill hat. So I showed the yarn last week, which is that pretty purpley. Um, was the club yarn. Oh, yeah, yeah. From Indian Tangle. That was really pretty. Yeah, I decided to hold it with a strand of um, purple mohair mm. to make it part of the fuzzy along. Nice. There you go. Uh, so I wound that together, and it's ready to go. Cool. So I maybe cast that on later today when I get home for part of the fuzzy along. I've pretty much been working on my sweater, and I did the heels, toes, and cuffs of the sock. And I've been cranking a ton because I had a wholesale order that went out. Awesome. Woohoo! Nice. So, yeah, that went out to CC. So if you're in um, New York, um, 
Yeah, she just is in the process of She's changing moving. location. Yeah, so having done that, we oh feel my your gosh, pain. we do. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's not fun to move a store. No, um, but we love our new space, so it was totally we worth do. it. It was very much worth it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But we had a good moving company too. They came yeah. in and they actually like saran wrapped shrink wrapped our All shelving our units the shelves got moved as is so we had to pack very little yarn um the stuff that was hanging on the wall that we had to box up and to move and all the notions and stuff and the notions and things like that um we left the, all of those on the hooks though and just kind of rubber banded everything together and that worked really well it did and then but the shelving units because we've got the cube you can see them kind of back there the cube ones they actually yeah came in with the big rolls of like the clear plastic wrap and just wrapped them oh, and then oh, slid dollies underneath of them rolled them out onto the truck yep i mean it's not to say that in the move they didn't get uh disorganized and yeah stuff jumbled off the shelves yeah. and some of our shelves went from this direction to this direction yeah when we moved here so we had we had to change some stuff around we had to but. do some reorganization of yeah. things but for the most part it was not as much as if we'd had to pack yeah. everything out of the shelves and then put it back out yeah we were actually closed for Two less days. time than what we thought we were going to have to be closed yeah. for so yeah yeah it was, it was good yeah it was good um so the retreat I was like two weeks away. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know all the stuff is like coming into all the, the goodies and um, yeah. We're doing yarn tasting. Our yarn tasting yarn showed up. Awesome. So I know. So, so cool. We're, we're getting there. We've got some really fun things for everybody who's coming, the attendees. Pretty exciting. We've got some goodies and gifts for them, and we're going to be doing some drawings and. We got all kinds of fun stuff activities planned. and oh, and lots of just downtime to hang out. Yeah, and. I know that was one of the things when we asked people. They wanted some stuff to do, but they wanted kind of flexibility just, just to, to just kind of hang, hang out, out. chit chat, eat food, knit. You know, that's so like we've kind of tried to perfect. have like a mix of yeah. things with some activities yeah. and some Saturday is probably our busiest day. Saturday is because there's the dye class and then and the, the marketplace. marketplace. And then um, Friday's somewhat busy because they're coming to the store. In the afternoon. Yeah. yeah. And we're doing a trunk show and um, for Try them. It and then we're also doing the, um, yarn, the yarn tasting and um, other tasting. Wine tasting. Beer, wine, beer, cider, cider tasting. tasting mm -hmm. that night. Yeah. So that'll be really fun. But um, we'll definitely be taking pictures and maybe do a, like a little live Instagram or something so you yeah. guys can can see what the fun is all about because yeah. we definitely want to do some More. retreats in the future um, definitely thinking about doing not for this summer but maybe the next for 2020, 2020. yeah doing um, a summer one because I we know we've got a lot of teachers yeah and they just can't get away um, this time of year no um, and it's so beautiful here in the summer. It really is. And it's so walkable. There's so many fun things to do downtown Burlington. And yep. just uh, we could do like a field trip out to Shelburne Farms. Oh, yeah. That would be so yeah. fun because they have sheep there. And um, it's beautiful there right on the lake. It's gorgeous. Yep. Um, yeah. I know. We, we start like brainstorming of all these things that we want to do. <laughs> I know. It's just spending the time. And we love sharing, you know, this with you, you know, because this is this is what where we live and yeah. things we do and we just love it so we think other people would too we yep. hope that they would so. yep fun things to yeah. think about exactly. yeah exactly so i finally closed the color palooza thread <laughs> you got a little you got a little behind on that one yeah um and i drew and i drew a prize excellent for the finish from the finished objects thread um, so, what is the win or win? Well, I thought we'd do something colorful. Colorful. So we've got this great little sheep bag. I love that bag. bright pop of I know. magenta. And this, on the side, they've got a, the sheep's got a hat on. And inside, we have a lovely, colorful skein of Into the World. Mm -hmm. Uh, you got sock yarn called Herding Cats, which I just love. Mm -hmm. 
So it's 460 yards. Um, this will probably micro stripe depending on what your, your gauge. gauge. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, lots of fun, just pops of color. And we've got a little uh, Suker Suker miniature cookie sheep. Cookie sheep progress keeper. Frosted cookie. Frosted cookie. Something. <laughs> I can't talk. No, oh, that thing. Whatever that is. <laughs> so this prize for the color palooza is going to go home to assuming you send us your address. <laughs> so we can send it to you. Uh, post number 17, which is Key West Connie. Um, so Connie's from Key West, in case <laughs> you, weren't, you weren't sure. Uh, and she made this wolfy hat, which she said was a Christmas gift. Yeah, it nice. was pretty. That's really pretty. Yeah. Um, so congratulations, Connie. Yay! If you would like to private message Kelly or myself on Ravelry or send either of us an email here at the store with your mailing address, mm -hmm. we will get that out to you. Yep. So congratulations. Yay! Thank you for participating. I know. Thanks to everybody. You guys oh, yeah. There was some awesome stuff Make this in there. so much fun. And oh, yeah. I can't wait for the fuzzy along. The fuzzy along's going to be awesome it's gonna be so fun yeah yeah um and to not disappoint i do have another i do have of course another she does. along that i would like to announce this is gonna be a fun it's one too be super fun mm -hmm. uh so this one's gonna start march 1st and i actually haven't decided how long i want to run it yet probably a couple of months because that tends to yep. be the time frame i like to go with just to give people time if they want to mm -hmm. do like a sweater something bigger Yep. Um, so this knit along is uh, hmm. going to be called the new to me along. Mm -hmm. What? What is that? Okay. Here's here's the rules. She's got a great brain. I just she's great. always thinking. I love it. I want you to go find a dyer that you haven't used before, used their yarn before, a uh, designer whose patterns you haven't seen or used before, and and this is. The part what why we're not starting until March 1st is we're going to have this interactive. So make suggestions. If yeah. you are a dyer or you're a designer and you would like to be added to the list, let, let us, us know. know or pop into the thread. Yeah. Um, because we'd love to introduce people to uh, new designers, new dyers, uh, new, uh, new folks, uh, just to broaden everybody's horizons. Yeah. Um, so it's the new to me along. I like uh, it. So you, entries would be, an, and you know what? I'll give you two entries if it's a new to you dyer and a new to you design, mm. designer. So you would get an entry for each of those. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. That's a great idea. So it'll be fun. It'll be a great way to like find some find new, some new stuff. Yeah. Which we I clearly don't need to find new. Yeah, well. so whatever. It's fine. But I think it's a great way of supporting yeah. people and designers and dyers that are either trying to get a start, a foot in the door mm -hmm. in this industry, mm -hmm. or um, may not be as well known to right. everybody. Right. Um, there's some really great ones out there that Absolutely. I'm just, I'm starting to learn more about some of the new Absolutely. dyers and designers out there. And um, so we just want to have everybody share their yeah. finds with yeah. everybody else. Let's, let's have a place where people can post yeah. that. Um, I've got a few that I can start awesome. and make suggestions for. And if uh, people want to make other ones in the thread mm -hmm. or send them to me, I'll add them to the list. You don't have to use something off that list. We're just trying right. to create a place. A database. A database yeah. where it's easy for folks to go to. Um, but, you know, make make some introductions. You yeah. know, you have that favorite person that you use that isn't sort of one of the mainstream yeah. everybody knows their name put them in the thread yeah. expose them to the muscle of yarn group yeah. and introduce them like yeah. I, that's that's what we're trying to do you guys are here. from all over yeah. and you know you know people that we don't know yeah um yeah yeah because you know there's a, a lot of times regional mm -hmm. you know where you know people here might know of a particular dyer or a pattern designer but they may not be known in Arizona or California or Australia or, Australia or, or yeah. you know Belgium I know we've got viewers in Belgium so you yeah, know Canada like yeah. yeah so 
let us know because we want to really welcome anybody to yeah. um, to be part of this and you know yep. just yep want to support as many small businesses as we can absolutely um, we're a small business and yep. we know how hard it is it's and super hard and, and most of us have I mean Kelly's lucky she's here all the time but mm-hmm. the rest Jen and I both have other jobs and a lot of um, designers and dyers they have other full-time jobs yeah. or more than one full-time job that they're yeah. working on top of yeah um, dying and designing uh, which I just think is incredible yep and so let's yeah let's introduce some of these folks to all of you yeah I mean most of the designers and dyers that I know of either when they started they mm-hmm. were you know working full-time jobs and then started their Slowly, dying and designing yeah. on the side and fit it in it was sometimes is almost another full-time job to yeah. them and have some have been fortunate enough to be been able to switch over switch over so that yeah. they don't have to have their other full-time job as well some of them still work that full-time job on top of yeah. providing so, beautiful yarn for people so any way that we can support yeah people yep. it's you know yep and we have a lot of a lot of those folks are going to be vendors at the um, mm-hmm. retreat at the marketplace yeah um, some of our a lot of our local yep. local to us folks yep so but share share your yeah. local to you folks and and yep and and other ones that you've maybe connected with through social media or other venues because you know we just want to support everyone that yep. we can yep and and the way we do that is by providing a, a vehicle and a mechanism for other to introduce them to other other so that's what we're trying to do here yep so the new to me along new to me along i love it it's a great idea yep every once in a while i'm out of ideas for the rest of the day <laughs> i've met my quota you've met your quota for <laughs> ideas <laughs> uh, oh wow your yeah. clients are going to be in trouble <laughs> Yeah, I said it was coming out of my mouth. I was like, nah, maybe it's not accurate. <laughs> yeah. I'm out. I'm out of my. Uh, I'm out of my alongs ideas right now. No, I'm not. You guys know I'm not. You've got a lot of stuff going on in here. Yeah. Um, and be working on a few more, but those are the two right now. Uh, one, the fuzzy along starting today, and the new to me along uh, starting March first. I know. So all our retreat people can start a new one with us that weekend if they feel like it. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And we're happy to introduce some new yarn to you here at the store. Um, that's right. That's and at the marketplace, they can pick something up and then start Start it, start it there. But, yeah, we're, I'm looking forward to seeing um, what the suggestions I are. Know. And I know. I always love We'll start finding. the list as well. I've got some mm-hmm. um, that have uh, been new to me over the last you know month or so. Uh, and so, anyway. Nice. Yeah. I like it. It's a great idea. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I think that's all I have for now. Oh, oh. Ooh, ooh. So we have. <clears throat> oh, right. from, for, for, yes, for make alongs, knit alongs, whatever alongs. We have some new to us yarn. But we have some new to us yarn <clears throat> from a great company. Um, it's Scottish yarn. And it's beautiful. Um, so uh, one of our sales reps is now wrapping their yarns, and I, as soon as she put it in my hands, You're was like, like, yep, we need that yarn. Um, it is this gorgeous, gorgeous yarn um, from Dye Gilpin, and it's called Lowland, which it means lowland. Um, and they're kind of celebrating that, that part of the um, area of Scotland. So they are in Fife is where they are. And we have, look at, look oh at, my these, God, look colors. at these colors. So right now we've got 12 colors in stock. Look at that orange. Um, and Holy it smokes. is, I know, it's awesome. Mm. And this is a really dark, this is a navy, and really nice look navy. Look at that one, I love that That's color. Right it's kind of it's like a dark a teal. Tealy, really, really dark. So we've got all these great mm-hmm. colors and um, those two together. I know. So they are... Um, 50 gram skeins and um, they're about 190 yards. Uh, so squishy. $13 a skein. Um, it's a it's kind of like a sport DK. Um, and they do um, Dye Gelpin is a designer. 
um, if you're not familiar with her. Um, and there are some patterns specifically for her yarn that are available on Ravelry, but there's a lot of great color work sweaters nice. um, that are out there too. I was actually looking at Ingrid, um, which is a really lovely, uh, Isabel Kramer, yeah, I think, mm -hmm. yeah, um, is one that I was looking at. Actually, she's got quite a few that would work. Jennifer Steingas has a number that would work yeah. too. Um, but there's a, there's a lot of options for patterns out there, um, and it is just it's 100% Scottish lamb's wool, and it is so soft, and it has. And it's a very interesting yarn construction too. It looks so. It looks kind of um, textured almost. But it knits up and it, it's just smooth and beautiful and um, the sales rep that was here that was showing it to me, she was working on a, a color work piece. I should have taken a picture of it. It was just lovely, really, really good definition of stitches and mm -hmm. it was just beautiful. Nice. So um, I did want to let you guys know that we have this in the store now mm -hmm. um, and I'm really excited about this yarn. It's just a really fun, nice, beautiful yarn. Um, so there's that, and I also did want to let you guys know that Lina or Lane Magazine, they don't really care how you pronounce it because they know it's the word is meaning wool in different languages is um, pronounced differently depending on where, where you, you are. are. So some people, so um, in Scandinavia it's pronounced Lina, but in France it'd be Lane. So, um, so they actually, it was kind of interesting. I remember reading that from um from from them directly but anyway um issue seven releases tomorrow we have it in store i know everybody is so so excited about it so um be sure to um order your copy if you uh if you want to get that yep. and um we'll have that we'll have that available tomorrow and it's uh there's some really pretty things what, in it what time uh, when the store opens, no ten. later than when the store opens, at least. So, so, um, so if you're looking I'm, for it online, if yeah. this episode goes up before then, and you're watching it, um, yeah, as of like 10 a.m. I may put it up sooner on the online store. In the on online store, obviously, well, <laughs> you can be waiting outside for it if you want to pick it up in person. But, um, but yeah, it may go up sooner. But um, 10, we've got a lot of copies of it available, so. Okay. Um, so it should be should be fine, but they do sell out regularly. Um, they actually, um, I think they're almost sold out in the states. So they, for a while, didn't have a distributor in the in the U.S. and they have a distributor now, and they've um, almost all of their copies are already spoken for. So wow, I know, yeah. So that's cool. Um, so we do have it. There was going to be a, uh, there was a question of whether it would get to the stores in the states um, in, time. in time for the release but yeah we've got it and um that'll be going up tomorrow and it'll be available in store too until so, it's sold out until it's sold out Ooh. yeah i know yeah issues one two and three are completely sold out i believe um everywhere like in you europe and yeah. um in the states and they probably will do another reprint at some point but they don't have any dates on when that will happen um, I think that there are some copies of four and five, four, five, and six available um, from the distributor, but um, we don't have any. We're, we're completely sold out of all of those, but we can get them. So if we sell through seven, um, if we do a reorder, we if we do add. a reorder, we can probably add in um, some of five, six, and seven as well. So that's okay. the scoop. Nice. Um, so yeah, look for, for Lane or Lina, however you choose to say it. And um, I think that's it. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. Cool. Well, you guys have a fantastic weekend. Yes. Um, the weather's going to be decent here. It's going to be like 20s and 30s and sunny. Nice. Which I'm looking forward to. Excellent. And it's a long weekend for some, not yep. for everybody. I got to work Monday. A lot of people do, so it's, you know. It's what it is. It is. And thank you guys so much for joining us today. And happy knitting happy and crocheting knitting. and felting and whatever. spinning, weaving. Oh, listen, you. <laughs>
And we will see you next. Do you guys think Kelly can teach me to crochet over the retreat weekend? Pfft. Pfft. <laughs> <laughs> game. Teach Ange to crochet. <laughs> Jen took my crochet class. Did she? Mm-hmm. Yeah. She did. Anyway, sorry, now I totally derailed that. Okay. <laughs> Have a fabulous weekend, everybody. Yeah. Thank you guys for joining us, and we will see you next week. We will. Mm-hmm. Bye. Bye. Clean. I'll keep it clean now. <laughs> I got all my, I got all my swears out. <laughs> Probably not, but we'll keep it clean. Okay. I know everybody loves our chit chat. I know. That's why I'm putting it on. Okay. Um. Yeah. So that was epic. 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 Snow day. Um, snow day yesterday. Uh, William School got canceled at like really by five p.m. on really Tuesday. That's so funny that because I saw a lot of like delays, two hour delays because it did clear out in the afternoon. Um, yes, considerable number of schools were closed yesterday. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I did take. We went. He and I went to a movie yesterday oh, afternoon. Fun. The roads were fine. Yeah, they were fine. Totally fine. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, the morning it was a little. I had to go to hand therapy. Early in the morning, and they weren't great. Yeah, um, but they had, you know, they're passable. Yeah, and I, the state had a two-hour del- was had really? delay opening, so they thought it was. I think they thought it was going to be way yeah. worse than it was. I mean, it was snow. It wasn't like when it was ice. That was ridiculous. But it was supposed to. Their original weather forecast was for it to switch over to ice yeah. overnight for a while. Yeah, and then switch back to snow. I think so it I, stayed all snow where we were. I think because it, it did warmed too. up overnight. Yep. Um, so anyway, so yeah, yeah, with the 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 situation last week, I think everybody was just like just being super yeah. cautious because of that debacle. People kind of ignored the last week, and we got a giant ice storm, and it was not it was nasty driving. Like people delayed sitting on the roads for hours because they couldn't get because roads were closed or there were accidents yeah. or it was yeah. it was really bad. Oh, there's a cardinal. I know I've been watching him because my office is over there for people that like don't know. The windows are kind of in front of us, and um, so we have really nice light. But I sit at my desk sometimes. I look out, and there's a female and a male. And he obviously the male you see, you notice yeah. right away. And um, there he is, hanging yeah. out. Yeah, so They're pretty. So pretty. Um, yeah, so, like, because daycare closed at 3 on Tuesday and no after-school activities, like, William, mm. they didn't do early release, but they definitely were. Um, I, I probably would have called it. I mean, we were headed home. Uh-huh. I picked Abigail up a little before 3, and we headed home. We hit the snow in Charlotte, and then by the time we got home, it was really starting to come down. Yeah. And it looked like it was just going to keep accumulating, yeah. and I think if it had accumulated at that rate, all the way overnight, we would have probably gotten 12 or 15 inches. Yeah. And, I, and it must have tailed off because we yeah. only ended up with about six. Did you? We had about eight at my house. Yeah. yeah. Um, so. I, Which they said the Champlain Valley was going to get hit pretty hard. Um, further north you went, they got less. They only yeah. had like a few inches. Yeah. So. Weird. The weather. The weather. Yeah. The weather. The weather. The weather. We like we're, to talk, we're we like to talk over about it. the weather <laughs> year round. Um, I don't mind the winter weather. I get I, frus- I get frustrated by the delays and the closing school closings. This bag just makes me so happy. It is so pretty. This is a fat squirrel bag that I got at Needles Up. I have. And I just love my this. fat squirrel bag that I got at Needles Up with I all know. the birdies. She has some of the Hi, best Junior bird kids. <laughs> And I love all the the little dogs with their people. I love all They're the birds. so great. I love the birds. I love them. I love them. So cute. Yes. Cute. They are cute. It's perfect. Anyway, yes, her fabric. Yes. I don't know where she, she finds her fabric, but gets it's amazing. Some of the best fabrics, and it's a nice, like, heavy canvas. Mm-hmm. She gets like decorator fabrics, which are yeah. really nice. So we have a couple things that we want we can mention that I've had people oh, ask yes. about. So we should yes. do that now while I'm thinking of it, okay. but we'll do it in outtakes. Okay. Because I don't want to derail us from 
So we have, I think, did we mention it? We've got the Ravelry thread for anybody going to the retreat. Yes. Um, kind of a, so if you want to chit chat with people, other yep. people who are and going. There was someone who offered to give rides um, to people that were coming in early and staying at mm-hmm. hotels. Yeah. So, um, so there's yeah. good stuff out there. Yeah, there's a number of people that I know are going to have cars that are coming sort of locally-ish, mm-hmm. like New England. Um, so, yeah, that would be a great place to connect with them, especially if you're flying in. Yep. Because um, I know some people are like, I'm going right to the store. <laughs> awesome. I know. I love it. It's fantastic. Um, and then... Uh, what else? Oh, we um, we had we've had a number a few people ask about uh, some of the amenities at the location. Yep. Um, bedding and towels are included. Are provided. Yep. Um, so don't worry about packing that stuff. Um, you know, definitely bring all your own personal items and shampoo and soaps yep. and stuff like that. But um, and we'll post that and probably send out an email uh, email so yeah because i also knows. need to hear from back from folks um about the dye class for uh, okay. colors oh uh, right for the yep. gradient the um the ombre gradient that they want to mm. do so it can get mm-hmm. pre-mixed cool um and so i was trying to decide i was waiting until i had kind of a list i'll probably send it maybe next week after mm-hmm. we meet on sunday or maybe i'll send it monday okay um just in case there's anything else, so I don't. I'm not spamming your inbox. So there'll be like one. Um, we had. I did have somebody ask on a thread if we could post roommate assignments mm-hmm. ahead of time so people could get to know each other. Uh, I would love to do that, though. Sometimes that can be a big moving piece, even mm-hmm. up until the last minute. Yeah. Um, and so it could present some logistical nightmares for us if things change. Right. Um, so. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to do some fun things. Um, some icebreakers and yeah. get to know people. and Yeah. Well, yeah. So that, you know, everybody. And I know there's some people that are roommates that have met at other events or yep. um, have been chatting yep. anyway. And, so. and we have been, if you've requested specific people as roommates, we are 100% able to accommodate yeah. that. Yep. So. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Hey. Um, Cool. Uh, I think that's... So it. I had somebody ask me, and they asked me when the weather was really cold really here. Cold. And I just, it completely slipped my mind to talk about it. But I had somebody who asked me if I would talk about um, how I keep all my critters safe and warm when the weather gets really, really cold. Yeah. And... Um, it can be a challenge. It can be. And that when it gets really, really cold, I... I'm always like paranoid about my horse and I'm always going out and checking on her especially. So my chickens, my husband, he um, likes to build things and he built them a really nice, very insulated chicken coop. Um, So (laughs) they, um, they're fine. fine. (laughs) It's probably warmer than some people's houses. (laughs) Yeah. And uh, so I have, Actually, when it gets really, really cold, I have a heat lamp in there that I, I just plug in. Yes, there's electricity that's run out to the chicken coop. Um, and so my barn has electricity and water in it. Um, and my chicken coop is not too far off of my barn. So we right now just have an extension cord that runs to the, the chicken coop, but then it plugs into an outlet, a box outlet that's in the chicken coop. So I can plug in their heat lamp. Um, so with that plugged in, I went out there when it was, oh my gosh, I don't know, like seven below, and it was 40 degrees in the chicken coop, and um, then I think, and usually it it stays between 40 and 50 degrees (laughs) inside the chicken coop, and uh, and I usually keep it closed up if it's really cold and super windy, because my chickens won't go out in the snow. If there's snow on the ground, they're like, no. (laughs) Kind of like my dog. Yeah. So um, they're quite toasty in there, and it keeps their water from from getting frozen. And I found that the biggest thing in the winter is to make sure that you keep your animals hydrated, um, especially the ones that are living outdoors. Because, yep. like me, it's I know super dry, you right? have a tendency to drink less too in the mm-hmm. winter, and it's really super important um, 
for both the chickens and the horse, the horse especially so because they can colic very easily in the winter because they're not drinking enough water. Um, and there's a number of different types of colic. Um, but so my horse has a barn, it's not insulated or heated. Um, but she has a run install so she can run in and out. So if the weather conditions are crummy, she can kind of come and go, especially during the day when I'm not there as, as much. Um, and she has outside, um, she has a separate little run in too, and she can go in and out of there um, at, at will. Um, and I, I do have some um, different blankets for her. For her, she grows a really thick winter coat, so I'm not as concerned about um, an insulated blanket. I do have one, so when the temperature gets below zero, I will put that on her. Um, but it's more about uh, waterproof, so keeping the, if it's raining, you know, if it's 40 degrees and raining, she can get chilled really easily because yep. her coat will get really wet. So yep. I have just a rain sheet if it's warmer and raining. Um, but if it's snowing really hard and, and cold, I'll put her insulated yep. one on just to keep the water off of her. Um, and, and I think and I think a lot of um, a lot of times um, people don't realize that ho- particularly horses, I think cows do the same thing, um, goats for sure. But they they put on a really thick coat mm-hmm. unless you've trimmed it because yeah. you're showing them or having some sort of other events <laughs> where it's not really okay for them to have a yeah. he- heavy thick winter coat. But they yeah. do. I mean, just like dogs and cats, yeah. they're kind of coming and going inside and out. They grow a thicker coat in the winter. Yeah, yeah. I can put my hand like into her fur and like your hand disappears. I mean, she grows a really good thick coat. Yeah. Some horses um, don't as as much. There's some breeds like thoroughbreds typically um, don't grow as thick of a coat. So a lot of times you have to blanket them a lot more mm-hmm. than you would um, my horse. My horse is a quarter horse cross. Um, and I've had Morgans before too, and they grow, <laughs> they turn into fuzzy little mm-hmm. um, bears. But um, so, and and I do have, um, for my horse, I do have heated water buckets um, so that her water will stay, um, you know, open. It doesn't freeze. And I think that is one of the biggest things. Um, and sometimes if it's really cold, I'll do like a nice warm bran mash for her um, just as a little treat to warm her up to. Mm-hmm. But um yeah, I think keeping her, you know, dry mostly and and keeping open water for them um, are the biggest things. And yeah. you know, I'm lucky enough to have a barn, um, so she she stays cozy at night. And you know, because she's cold with her arthritis and everything. Yeah. yeah, I don't want her to get really cold, and I bed her stall really deep, so um, so that it's really comfortable for her when she because yeah. she does she lays down when she sleeps. Some horses don't as much, um, but she always has. <laughs> she like flat out lays down yep. so um and, and we see some differences too with like the dogs and the cats and I mean my yeah. my cats are indoor cats so they yeah. don't go outside at all um but <laughs> with the dog uh, when it's super cold you have to be really careful they don't get frostbite on their pads, on their pads. um so if you're going to be out with them yeah. for any length of time which really if it's that cold the human shouldn't be out yeah. for very long either but you can get special booties for them mm-hmm. um we don't because we don't tend to be outside if it's that yeah that that cold um, but you just, you have to be mindful and yeah. the salt too. You have to be careful yeah. with the salt. That's um, a nice thing too. Um, you know, we're out in the country. So when we go out for walks with our, our animals there, we don't typically have to worry as much about the salt on sidewalks and roads and things like mm-hmm. that. Um, but you, you know, if you are in a place where they use salt, they don't get the pet friendly salt in the, in the cities they get, you know, no. um, so the, the the little boots that you can put on are good, and then there's also a product. Um, there's a couple different ones um, that actually is like a salve that goes on their paws. Um, Musher Secret is one, um, and a lot of the pet stores around here carry it. And um, you just kind of put on a thick coat, and it's it's an all natural product. So if they lick their feet, then you know they won't. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's like natural oils and fats and waxes and things um, to protect their feet from the cold and from the salt. Mm-hmm. Um, as you might have guessed, it, they use it a lot um, for the sled dogs. sled dogs. So, yep. Um, but anyway, anyway, that's kind of the the scoop of that. But yep. Thankfully, it's getting warmer. My horse actually is starting to shed a little bit, so it's more based on daylight hours than really the temperatures. Yeah. But we've been getting, you know, more daylight hours. That, to me, is huge. Oh, it's I, huge. huge. You know, I, I, the other night I noticed it was like 523 when I was walking to my car, and it was, and it was so still light, light, and I was like, oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, 
Yeah. It makes a huge difference. It makes a huge difference. Huge, huge difference. Yep. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, I graduated, too. <laughs> a little smaller thing. That's good. I know. It's a little easier to knit with this on. I can imagine. But it's... I um, can imagine. I need to start talking <laughs> up because I've noticed that I've been mumbling some on the podcast. Yeah. It's not as easy. I know. Because I start talking to you and I talk <laughs> and I start talking to you in a voice that is not yelling or not projecting because you're mm-hmm. right there I and know. I need to talk up a little more. Yeah, I try to so. project, especially when the store is actually open, because yeah. sometimes if there's chatter going on behind us, I'm I'm usually aware of that, so I try to talk a little louder, but yeah, yeah. I know. So the store is not open right now. Not right now. It not will yet. be before too long, but yep. Um, yeah, it's a bright, beautiful, sunny day today, it's and it's supposed to be, I think, in the mid-20s. Good day for a drive. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's actually, this is, like, m- perfect winter weather to me. Anything between, like, 20 and 30 degrees and mm-hmm. sunny, yeah. they're, they're just awesome days to go out and go snowshoeing or, you know, skiing or something. Yep. I just, they're the best. Yippers. But that's not what I'm doing today. <laughs> nope. Me neither. It's Valentine's Day. It is Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm. If you celebrate. Some people, it's kind of one of those. Yeah. I kind of, for me, it's it's a made-up Hallmark holiday. <laughs> <laughs> I've never really been a big fan, but it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. So my, um, not on Valentine's Day, in a, in a few more days, my husband and I are celebrating our 20th date anniversary. Ooh. I know. We started dating 20 years ago. Wow. I know. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. Just after Valentine's Day. So we usually do more for that, really, than Valentine's Day. Yeah. Although I think he's cooking me dinner tonight, mm. which is really nice. That's nice. It is. Well, we're still bright. bright. I know. Totally bright that, I know. I love it. Well, should we? Shall we? We we got all of our fun stuff out before we started. <laughs> before we started filming. Angela was, was telling me stories I about was, poop. <laughs> yeah, it's. We're not going to talk gonna, about not it. Not going to share them here. <laughs> um, but I'm a parent. Use your imagination. <laughs> That's all I have to say. <laughs> anyway. Um, and then some other stuff that is not appropriate for the podcast. Yeah. So we don't want to have to put explicit on our podcasts. Nope. But don't worry if you're coming to their show. <laughs> you, you can hear all get about a it. Little flavor of what I'm like <laughs> off screen. <laughs> I know we tone it down a little bit. Yeah. Oh yeah. A lot of bit. <laughs> a lot. A lot of bit. Uh. Yes, I think yes. Yes, there's no other way to describe it. Yes. <laughs> yep, that's accurate. <laughs> Correct. Uh, uh, I know we're not the only ones, but no, anyway. I know. It's uh, yeah, doesn't need to be on here, but it is fun. It is. <clears throat> All right, should we get the shindigery going? Let's get it going. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 